what is going on, everybody? <laughs> Hello! It is Pixel Partners here. And welcome back <laughs> to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies. Yeah. I think y'all can guess what happened. It took a long time. <laughs> but I got it to work. Yes. The mobile emulator is working. Finally! And we have the ability to play the special DLC episode Finally. from Dual Destinies, Turnabout Reclaimed. Y'all ready for this? I'm dude, so dude, excited. Dude, dude. dude, let's fucking do this. It's only been... It's only taken so long. We're, we're doing this. We're really doing it. Here we go. It's taken months and months and months. My name is Phoenix Wright. Oh. Head of the Wright Anything Agency and a lawyer. Although, I was doing something else entirely for a while there. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. Anyway, I thought I'd reminisce about my first case back on the job. And what a case it was. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting voice Sam acting. Sam kind of took my job from yeah. me. <laughs> but you know what? I'll allow it. Special episode, Turnabout Reclaimed. Uh, ooh. Pirates? I love it. <laughs> Captain Morla, he made it just in time. It's like a Pokemon. <laughs> it did sound like a Pokemon. It's literally my favorite animal. Oh, we be pirates, we love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as free can be. We swim through storms and waves, all because you see grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. Yeah! What is happening? Why do you have a mustache? <laughs> Why is it taking this long? Well, this has been kept from me for how long? She has been kept from me for how long? Oh my god. Hello? Name? Occupation? Please? Name and occupation, excuse please. Excuse me? Um, ASL? Um, excuse me? Stop. What's happening? I'm, I'm, Stop. I'm in a crisis right now. Today's my first day back on oh, the job man. as a lawyer. But this attorney's badge on again really makes it at home. Boy, am I pumped. Even Trucy said, looking good, daddy. Looking good, daddy. <laughs> yeah, that. So, Athena, <laughs> Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney's badge? <gasps> Look at that. Look at Apollo. Also, since it's technically the DLC, we have the alternate outfits here. Yeah. So uh, I went ahead and turned them all on for this part. So Look at Athena them. has a little bit of a pirate garb going on. <laughs> Apollo's ready to go back to school. Well, Athena has like that sailor girl uniform yeah. thing. Apollo <laughs> just super casual. Wow. The Ship Shape Aquarium show is great. I can't get enough of it. Um, Athena? I still can't believe they showed the Swashbuckler Spectacular on TV. Good thing I recorded this. Now, who's ready for another viewing? <laughs> You've already watched it five times. Let's watch something else now. How can you even suggest such a thing? This show is therapeutic. Uh, boss here asking you guys a question. So what's therapeutic about watching a killer whale? Everything. What? You Don't you know anything? Animal-assisted therapy is an established psychiatric treatment. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists? It's a real thing. I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I still go there every now and then to further my psychology studies. The last time I went, I saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together. It was so... Hey, do you two think you can quit <laughs> goofing off and do some work for a change? Work? That's oh, you. <laughs> work, but I've already cleaned the toilet. Twice. Each. Hey, wait a minute. Is that your badge I see? Wow, congrats on getting your attorney's badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I'm officially a lawyer again. Sheesh, took him long enough to notice. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Wright, that badge on you, you suddenly look so capable. Ha ha ha, um, thanks. It's not like I was some lazy bum, you know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but what made you suddenly so fired up to get your badge back anyway? Uh, well, I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. Why could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now, so we better start talking and taking in lots of work. 
You made a promise to your boyfriend, didn't you? <laughs> Listen now. <laughs> I'm all for that. Let's get this agency hopping. Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. It's been eight years since I last wore this badge. I feel like a rookie all over again. And this just in. The owner of Ship Shape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley, has been murdered. Oh. The suspect in the case is reportedly already in custody inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is. I can't believe it. A murder at Ship Shape Aquarium? I love that place. We need to get to the bottom of this. Who? I think I know who this is. I would say, uh, boy. Um, go ahead and use, like, maybe, like, around your Ibuki voice. Really? Just for this one line. Hmm, really? I guess I'm in luck then. Oh. I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend. What? Who in the world is this? Um, are you a client? <laughs> Wait, that costume it looks just like... I've got it. You must work at Ship Shape Aquarium. That's right. You, you, you men know it. I'm Sasha Buckler. Hi. Nice to I meet you. Pleasure. Like, Phoenix Wright. The I, name's Phoenix Wright. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> I perform like an agile catfish in our pirate show. It'll blow your mind. Uh, you want well, you try that again? I perform like an agile catfish in our pirate show. It'll blow fish your mind. There you go. Wow, my you know, brain totally skipped over that pun. Those puns floundered a bit. Oh my god, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out the client's identity. Chalk one up for analytical psychology. My friend is under suspicion of murder, so I really need some help. That's why I've got to find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. What? And this is Apollo <laughs> Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers too. You guys don't look very professional. If there's anything you need, <laughs> all you have to do is ask- Well, fuck you too then. <laughs> <laughs> The same goes for me too, Miss Buckler. Uh, not the fuck you part, but the you know, the the, the thing. <laughs> Just call me Sasha, and I'll call you all by your first names too, if that's all right. Phoenix, Apollo, Athena, you have to help me. Please save my friend. Guess you better stop asking her more about her defense request. Ah, oh, the defense request. Miss Buckler, Sasha. Could you tell us more about why you need our help? My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Ship Ship Aquarium. Captain? I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees crew, too. That's a pretty unusual aquarium you've got there. Anyway, one of the crew members, my friend, is being suspected of the captain's murder. They've already decided she's guilty. I think they're going to give her the death penalty. What? What, what happened to due process? But my friend is as sweet and gentle as a whale shark. She wouldn't hurt a guppy. I know there's no way she murdered anyone, but they won't believe me. But with a name like Wright, I figured you'd be able to help me set them straight. <laughs> you think he's- <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't tell me she picked you all because of a bad pun. Ouch, I see my reputation doesn't precede me. <sighs> but seriously, my name can't be the real reason she's here. Oh my god. Right? Right? Right, right? Why request me? Why is the I'm music, glad you came here, but why me? Why is the music so loud? <laughs> I, I'm gonna fix that in the- Well, I guess I can try and turn that down for us right now, but uh, yeah, oh, that's evidence. Um, how do we get out of evidence? Oh god. Uh, I'll there use that. Go. Okay, um, I think I can go over here, because it is very loud to us at it least. It is, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go down, uh, one nice little notch. That should be there good go. enough for now. Now we that can hear better. our own thoughts. Yeah. So what's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole slew of lawyers and they all refused. They said stuff like, there's no merit to taking your case or I'm not sure I can help. They're all cruel as sharks with hearts punier than white bait. Ooh, I can really feel Sasha's frustration. Even Widget was bright red. <laughs> yeah. With nobody on her side, she must feel all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. 
They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak the circumstances. Huh, guess my reputation does precede me. Not sure how well deserved it is, though. <laughs> Thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Quite a tall order there for a man who just got his badge back. Yeah. But I don't want to let Sasha down. Or her friend. Let's help her, Mr. Wright. Let's save her friend. That's just what I was thinking. Sasha, we'll accept your case. Y you will? Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver, literally. I'm having a crisis right now, <laughs> dude. Are you, I, you uh -huh. good? <laughs> I think I've found a new favorite character on the planet. Oh boy. Well, no time to stand around and mull it over things. <laughs> mull it. <laughs> you want to meet my friend right away. I want you to meet my friend right away, but that means you want to meet her. Come to Shift Shape Aquarium with me. Okay. <laughs> like, Mr. Reich, cool yourself. Anything you say, I'm already at the door. You got it. And I'll go too. No, no, no. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office till Trucy gets back. <laughs> Both of you. Yeah, stay here. Don't worry. I got this. All on my own. <laughs> you never know when a new client might stop by. How come I'm the one to stay behind? Because this is mine, Apollo. <laughs> Don't take this from me. <laughs> Thanks a million. I know you understand, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move the aquarium, shall we? <sighs> <laughs> oh my God. Let's uh, uh, let's just uh, what what to do? So what do you think about this case, Apollo? Murder the owner of Ship Shape Aquarium. Well, uh, gah. Can't think with you looking at me so expectantly. <laughs> I don't really have any ideas. Sorry I'm not any help. But you are a help. As long as you're the one playing office sitter, you're fine. Hey, there's Apollo's favorite word. I think I'll say it, I'll say it a few times too. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ha ha ha. Are you two making fun of me? Oh. Who, us? Of course not. Just yank at your chain a little. Poor Apollo. <laughs> I've ideas, missed buddy? this so much. I know, right? <laughs> so, any ideas for us? Well, I think you should give that swashbuckler video a glance. Starting to become a fan too, huh? I knew you'd like it if, if you gave it a chance. It's not so much that. <laughs> I just thought it might give you some leads seeing as the scene of the crime and all. It's a good idea. I'll take a look when I get a second. I've got nothing better to do, so maybe I'll watch it a few times myself. <laughs> mm. Apollo, <laughs> please try to find something better to do. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, Am I able to... Uh, you look so good in this outfit. Yeah, am I able to look around at all, or is that not a thing right now in our office? I'm trying to... Because I have present... Also, there's one of Emma's pins. Did you see that? I'm going to go ahead and yeet the attorney's badge at him. <laughs> what you think? The return of a legendary lawyer. It's kind of exciting. Kind of. <laughs> <sighs> so how do I look with it? Come on. Wow, you presented that thing like you're a real pro. Like you've done it a million times. You must have done it a thousand times. <laughs> it never really seems like enough to just have it pinned to my label for some reason. Uh, I get mine to show it off. When I first became a lawyer, I flashed that badge left and right. Uh, you still do that, actually. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. All right, well... Uh, doesn't really look like I can, uh, I can, uh, look around the office, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Ship Shape Aquarium. Be right I've, back, Apollo. I've missed this so much. July 20th. We're returning to our roots. Aquarium. <laughs> yeah. Aqu tunnel. It's really pretty. Whoa. Fancy. I love it. Wow, this is gorgeous! It's just like being under the sea! Under the sea! Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the Aqua Tunnel, our pride and joy. I'm really glad you like it. Oh, why I can go There we go. I'm going to go on ahead and fill the detective in on your arrival. Take a look around the tunnel and then come meet me at the pool up ahead on the right. Hey, boss! Look at this cute little fish! Uh, that better be a delicious grill. <gasps> Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Oh, and here comes some grilled chicken. What? I, <gasps> what? The penguin! That's not a chicken, it's a penguin! Come here, little cutie! <gasps> oh! And it's gone. <laughs> oh, that would be me. <laughs> it ignored me. Maybe it was hungry too. Oh, look. Drop something. Ah, 
it's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular show. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in his backpack. So it's passing out flyers, huh? How cute! A carrier penguin that's, that distributes flyers? We could use one of these in our office. <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> we need a distributing pet penguin. Well, can't keep the client waiting. We better get going. Yeah, you're right. Time to roll up our sleeves. Ooh. July 20th. Ship Ship Aquarium. Uh. <laughs> huh? I don't see Sasha. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to remember this voice. Ah, you two lawyers must buckle mention. Detective Fulbright, are you the lead detective on this case? I sure hope that's the voice. It's something like that. Yeah. That's right. As long as evil exists in this world, there'll be no rest for me. Yeah, no, you, and you who nailed is your it. like friend there? I don't believe we've met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. How did you remember it so well? How can you remember someone like that? <laughs> yeah, you, you, how can you forget? Yeah. But I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright. People don't usually get to see this area. It's only open now because of the investigation. You two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky. Right. This guy's even louder than Apollo. <laughs> so where's the suspect being questioned? And where's Miss Buckler? I think you know what you have to do to the voice now. Ha! I'm pretty sure it's Sasha as a pirate now. Because uh, <laughs> we're in her home turf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here I be, me buckos. <laughs> yep. Hi. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shiver me timbers. There are one of dread pirate no no statues scurvy swabs. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but any, I'm, I'm not anyone swab, scurvy, or otherwise. <laughs> More shameless than a sea lion ye be trying to make off with me, best bucko. If you want to pick a fight with us, ye'd best bring along an army of great white sharks. <laughs> Hi! Oh, <laughs> you cutie! <laughs> Bye. Orcas are literally my favorite animal, you guys. This <laughs> makes me so happy. Oh, just you wait. S Sasha? What's going on here? Let me introduce you. This is the friend I was telling you about. Her name is Aura Shipley. But she only responds to Orla, so that's what people call her. I'm her trainer. She's a suspect in the murder, but she never hurt anybody. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> We're defending an orca? She's the suspect. Yeah, and thank goodness you came before they put her down. Yeah, when I was, because when I was trying to get the case to work, I read a little bit about it, and it kind of talked about the fact of like, oh, uh, you have to defend an orca, and I was like, you fucking what now? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how does that even work? Oh, we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm really grateful to the two of you. I just know you'll save Orla. What? Don't tell me you didn't even know you who your client was. Uh, an orca is a suspect? Our, our client is an orca? Is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention that? <laughs> oopsie. That's one very big oopsie. Do orcas even have the same laws as humans? <laughs> By the way, what was with that mustache earlier? God. Oh, these be part of me costume for the swashbuckler, swashbuckler spectacular. When I be wearing the mustache, I be one of the cat moralist swashbucklers. Transformation as dramatic as a puffer fish is, wouldn't you say? I don't think I would ever say that. I bet you loved nope. that sprite just now, though. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pirate-themed aquarium, so that's why Orla is wearing a pirate hat, right? Yep, she really loves wearing hats. She puts them on all the time. But her fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. Uh, I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little more about Orla? <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Orla's adorable. So, you're really serious about me defending Orla? Of course I am. You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix. I heard you once questioned an animal during a trial, and that got your client off the hook. No way you did that! Uh, 
I uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. Yep. Not a proud Call moment. Call me the parrot. <laughs> uh-huh. Ooh, you're going to have to tell me about this later. I'll ask Apollo for all the juicy details. I would rather not. <laughs> when I heard you didn't discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you, though. I don't know anything about orcas. I do. I mean, they don't eat people, do they? No. <gasps> she took offense. <laughs> Yikes. I think it made her mad. I won't have you talk that way in front of Orla. Orcas have feelings too, you know. Yeah, boss, you have emotions just like we do. Sorry? Is anger the only feeling I inspire in women? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> she sings. She loves singing. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, she says she forgives you. Uh, bye. I love Thank her. For that. I love her. <laughs> Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. Orla here only eats fish. The captain went to feed Orla this morning, and then he had... And then he was found dead in this very room. Did you tell us more about his death? Can I not look around the room at all or anything? I guess not. In the not. mobile version? Because that goes to the text box, and that's my huh. evidence. And then there's the people. What I can learn about you? You're 22, and Bobby Fulbright. Alright, and then it's uh, uh. Alright, um, back and then I push like that's the save button. Yeah. I don't know how to look around, but huh. I'll ask about the murder. So the owner of the aquarium, Jack Shipley, was discovered murdered. Yeah, it was about ten ten this morning, just after the aquarium opened. The visitor was viewing the Orca pool from the visitor's corridor and screamed. The Orca pool is this tank here? Yeah, that's right. This pool is built so that guests can see into it from the corridor on the first floor. The security guard and I heard the scream and came running into this pool room. Where we found the captain dead at the side of the pool in his swashbuckler costume. He was as big and tough as an old crocodile, the captain. I still can't believe he's dead. Mr. Shipley was very important to you, wasn't he? Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sad... All sad goldfish on you. Sad goldfish? Yeah, what? I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to snap her out of it. When it's showtime, it's time to smile. That's what the captain always said. By the way, do you know why exactly Orla is being accused of the crime? Why is Orla accused? Can you think of any reason why Orla would come under suspicion? The police think Orla went berserk during practice with the swashbuckler spectacular. But Orla would never do anything like that. Right, Orla? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what she is thinks my life? she's a seal. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> just look at that face. Isn't she adorable? The charges just have to be false. Hate to break it to you, but the police don't usually base its decisions on cuteness. <laughs> That's right. We base them on facts. Take a look at this. Ooh, there's that music. Photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. Ooh. Very perceptive, the victim and the orca were the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Okay, photo of the body out of the court record. We're getting evidence. It's important. Huh. So, what's the theory on how Orla supposedly killed the victim? They said orcas sometimes kill their prey by ramming into them underwater. We believe the orca did just that by pulling the victim into their 65 foot pool. And then rimming him while they were in the water. By God. <laughs> huh. Funny suspects besides Orla. This could be one tough case. Okay. No official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense. Why hasn't one been ordered? Accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight of an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. So Orla's going to be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair! There's nothing short of police and negligence, Detective Fulbright! The incident was determined as homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Miss Sykes! Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium would be held responsible to the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the other responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything you can do? They're going to put Orla down. Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. But how do I help an orca? Wait. Yes. I can do this. 
set Orla free. <laughs> like Free Willy. <laughs> find the real killer. We're going to find who did this shit. I'll find the real killer. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. And I'll do everything I can to help you. Just wait one moment. You're not a police officer or a prosecutor. You're not even officially the defendant's lawyer. You have no right to investigate. I'm not officially Orla's lawyer, huh? In that case, I know exactly what I have to do. Defender in court. <laughs> yes, I can do this. Defend Orla. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I have to do. I'll defend Orla in court. <laughs> Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> Even Lorca deserves a fair trial. The one responsible for Orla is dead. Then I'll take responsibility for her. Oh, there's that theme. You'll what? I guess doing crazy things just once in your career wasn't enough, huh? But what the heck? I'll take responsibility for her too. Are you so insane? Yes. <laughs> this is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to the court. Then let's investigate the crime scene. If we can prove this was a murder, we might be able to take it to trial. And then Orla would certainly need to help. Would need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm. I guess so. But whoever heard of a trial for a killer whale? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. First time for everything. But... Please, Detective Fulbright, for justice's sake. Apollo? <laughs> Police have determined that an animal has, the, has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure that that was a just decision. If your sense of justice compelled you to take on the defense of this animal, then my sense of justice tells me to let the case be re-examined for possible merit. Y you mean it? Really? That's fantastic. You're not such a bad guy after all, Detective Fulbright. <laughs> Just remember this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Anyway, I better be off. Goodbye. Okay. You two are our lifeboat. I'll be right here if you need me. Thanks. I got a thing we really need help. If, your help with this investigation. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial, but as Orla's lawyers, we'll do everything we can. To get this case into court, we need a prosecutor to make an indictment. We have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than Orla. Huh. Detective Fulbright said there were no weapons in the area other than her. So we better look for something to prove him wrong. I'm gonna make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure are organized, boss. Maybe I should get a notebook of my own. <laughs> I just like to jot down notes in the case and the court records as I go along. We can use it as a sort of to-do list. Great idea. I'll add things too. And we're, whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. To read the notes, I just open the court record by tapping on the panel. Tapping on like the, what this? panel? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Search the crime scene. Look for a murder weapon. Boss, what are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Are you okay? Oh, don't worry about it. I can view my notes by tapping on the bottom tab. There. No jotted. Now let's investigate this crime scene. There has, there has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Examining the crime scene from every angle is the key here. That's right. If we change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. I suppose sliding the screen will move the cursor in the camera. What are you talking about? <laughs> or I can do the old-fashioned way and tap the arrows to change my perspective. Is this some sort of new lingo? <laughs> <laughs> or if there's a particular spot that's got your attention, get up and get, get right up to it and look away. Like that outline of the body on the far right there? Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to, to good investigation. Exactly. If you present items to people, you might learn even more. Right. It all boils down to thorough legwork. Well, let's get started. Hi. Now I can examine. Well, you know what? She does have big Ibuki vibes. We're going to start examining this crime scene and getting back in the Ace Attorney ways Ooh, next time. Hell yeah, man. It's so fucking Oh, man, I'm so happy. I love how naturally Athena's voice just comes to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything just feels right in the world it, again. It feels right. God, I ah. wish I could have said I did that on purpose. <laughs>